on in Bojo, Mr. McLeod Mondaya, Mr. McLeod here, and today's lesson is going to be on negative VTI A form inflections. Ooh, shocked face. I don't know what emo emoji that is, but yeah. So today we're just getting negative, learning how to say she or he is not verbing or verbing it. So unit review. Our verbs in this unit pertain to doing an action to an inanimate object. That makes it transitive. Doing an action to something else means our verbs are transitive. Our past units, VII and VAI, were intransitive because it was phrases where something or someone was doing an action of some sort. Nothing was receiving those actions. So, for example, in transitive examples, we have Moshnem got in agans, the cup is full, that's inanimate, versus Moshne, Moshkne, um, kick, Moshkne, uh, kick, the pot is full. So, and then we have our transitive examples, Nene Moshkodon in nagans, the man is filling the cup, versus Nene mosh Moshkanan name Kukon, the the man is filling the pot. And so, the the underlined version is the inanimate one, which is this unit. The next one is the animate unit, which will be a future unit. So our phrases have been standalone statements, also known as A form positive. A form, also known as independent clauses, are complete thoughts that make sense without any further information. Which, and to illustrate that, which phrase makes more sense without further information? A, if the dog fetches the ball. Or B, the dog fetches the ball. Which one makes more sense on its own? Which one doesn't need any more information to make sense? So the answer was B. The dog fetches the ball. So negation review. So in our VAI, our VII unit and VAI units, we learned that there are negative inflections in A form and B form. Negation in this unit will cover phrases where someone is not doing an action to something because we're dealing with inanimate and uh, transitive verbs, VTIs. For inflecting our A form sentences into negative, we have to start negative and end negative. Starting negative means always beginning our sentences with a variation of the word no in Ojibwe. That's go in, ka in, gone, ka, etc. An ending negative means ending our verb with the appropriate negative suffix. So for our negative B form phrases, we just utilize negative B form suffixes. Uh, for example, VII unit use snug, sninig, and znug, zninig. Also for negative B form phrases, we do not use the word ga in our, any of our phrases, just the negative suffix. Just as we covered both A form and B form negative for VII and VAI words, today's class we will cover A form negative phrases for VTI words. Just like in our previous units uh, where we start a negative and end a negative, we will do something similar to our VTI words where we will start every sentence with some variation of the word Gawain and end with a negative suffix. So let's take a look at verb phrases in Nishnah Bemun. This will help us better understand where to put our negative suffixes in our verb phrases. So verb phrases are our verbs we are using plus all the added meaning uh, our prefixes and suffixes include. In A form positive, our VTI uh, phrases, verb phrases, follow this formula. We have a singular pronoun prefix, n or g, Tense marker, gi, we, ga, da, uh, da, VTI word, 
whatever. There's a bunch of them in our dictionary. Then we have our plural pronoun suffixes. That's stuff like um, min and awa. And then our plural inanimate object suffix. That's just an n sound on the awas. Or an un for the first person, uh, the singular pronouns. Yeah. We always start with our singular pronoun prefix n or ge, followed by the tense marker, past tense ki, indefinite future we, etc. Next is our VTI word. And finally, if whomever we are talking about is pluralized, we use a plural suffix, min, for the we's, all was for the you all, or the they or them. And if the inanimate object is pluralized, we use the following suffixes, un and n, as I described earlier. So our verb phrases in A-form negative are VTI words with a slight change. Instead of using the formula, singular pronoun prefix, tense marker, VTI, plural pronoun suffix, plural inanimate object suffix, we will be using this formula instead. Singular pronoun prefix, tense marker, VTI, negative suffix, plural pronoun suffix, plural inanimate object suffix. So we're just taking our negative suffix and attaching it right after the verb. That's all you got to do. Everything else stays the same. So we'll still have our mins and our awas here, our uns and ns there, um, VTIs, tense markers, singular pronoun prefixes. We're just putting our negative suffixes right after the verb. Yeah, so we're just uh, sliding in a small change into our already established verb phrases. So here is just a, a little br a positive verb phrase breakdown to show how uh, where each uh, grammatical idea is located in a sentence. So our singular pronoun prefix, where our tense marker goes, where our VTIs are, plural pronoun suffix, and plural inanimate object suffix. So we have three sentences here. Three sentences here. Do nod nun nim kakun. I am fetching the boxes. Gui nod min nim kakun. We all want to fetch the boxes. And then gi nod na wan nim kakun. They fetched the boxes. So everything is going to light up uh, to show what is what in our sentences. So our singular pronoun prefix for the first one is in do, and that means I. And then Next would be our tense marker, but because we're using an extended pronoun, there is no tense marker. Next is our VTI word, which is nod in, means uh, she or he's fetching. Now our plural pronoun suffix. So again, because this is an I am sentence, the I is not pluralized, so we don't have a plural pronoun suffix where it would be. And then we have our plural inanimate object suffix is un. And then, uh, so we added our, uh, the plural suffix on our verb um, onto our box, which is boxes. Moving on to the next sentence. So we have our singular pronoun su uh, prefix. It is a g sound, and it's for the we. Next is our tense marker. So a tense marker is we, meaning want to. So just as the order follows, then our VTI word, not in again, means fetch. Then our plural pronoun suffix. So in this case, our plural pronoun suffix is min that we learned last lesson. And so we have our prefix and then our suffix, and that makes it we all. So we inclusive. Then our plural inanimate object Suffix, the we's don't have one, so we can just skip that one. And last is, so singular pronoun prefix, this is a third person sentence, so it doesn't have a pronoun prefix. Tense marker is gi, is past tense, so it makes it fetched. Next we have our VTI word. So this is where our VTI word is located in our sentence, as always, meaning fetched. Next, we have our plural pronoun suffix, which is located right here, awa, meaning they. And then lastly, our plural inanimate object suffix, which is an N sound at the end, and then an AN on our noun. I don't know why it drops out like that. 
but it changes it to boxes. All right. So that's the plural version. Now we're going to move on to the negative version. So if you'll notice, we have a little bit more information to go through here, and we have a negative suffix right after our VTI word. All right. So we're going to go dit, 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 dit. All right. So our singular pronoun prefix is first, and it's still in do. That's not affected in any way. Tense marker. There is none because uh, extended pronoun is in the way. Our VTI word is not in, meaning fetch. Then we have our negative suffix, which is ka and c. So we're starting negative here, ending negative there. So right after the verb. So nod c. Next is our plural pronoun suffix. There is none. Uh, I is not pluralized. And then our plural inanimate object suffix is un here. And then in cuck un. So making it boxes. Next, we're moving on to the next sentence. Ka gui not si min nim cuck un. So we all don't want to fetch the boxes. So our singular pronoun prefix is that get sound in front, making, making it we. Then our tense marker is the indefinite future we, meaning want to. Next is our VTI word. So nod in, meaning fetch. Negative suffix is C. So we have the starting negative here, ending negative here, right after the verb. And that makes it don't. Then our plural pronoun suffix. So get is singular, min is plural. So it makes it we all. Then our plural inanimate object would be here, but we don't have one for we sentences. So moving on to the next one. Singular pronoun prefix, there is none for third person. So moving on to our tense marker is gi, it's past tense, making it did. Next is our VTI word, which is not in. And then we're going to see where our negative suffix fits in there right after the verb, c. So remember, start negative and negative right after the verb. Next, we're going to have our plural pronoun suffix which is still our awa sound, still the same. We're just putting in negative suffixes right after the verb. And then plural inanimate object suffix. It's just an N sound there. And then un is pluralized on the noun, so making it boxes. So we're just adding our negative suffixes right after the verb. And then everything else kind of follows suit. So negative A form paradigms for VTI 1s and VTI 4s. So they're the same thing, the Zhea Kuan and Ion or Yan part one. So that a uh, sound will probably will come back to when uh, we attach singular pronoun prefixes. Uh, but this N sound is grayed out, so we're probably gonna get rid of that. So again, singular pronoun prefix, tense, verb, negative suffix plural pronoun suffix and an inanimate object plural suffix so our verb phrases are going to be color coded uh, grammatically broken down and color coded and then we have some examples here that you guys can translate so first person singular I or me is gone and then n or in do then our verb and then zine and then an un if pluralized so I am not opening the box so we have all the information we need, the verb here. So the way to translate that is gone in jaya kwa zin im kuk. Gone in jaya kwa zin im kuk. I am not opening the box. Next one, I do not have the boxes. So we're using our VTI4 here. It's the same pattern. So gan ndaya zinan nim kakan. Gan ndaya zinan nim kakan. So we can see how that's all color coded and matches. Next, second person singular. That's the U. 
So we have a gone in a get or gado, then verb, and then z none. So you are not opening the boxes. So if we just follow the pattern, it would be gone. Gajayakwazin uh, imkuk. You are not opening the boxes. Oh, opening the boxes, so it's plural. So gone gajayakwazinan nimkukan. Just like that. Next sentence. You do not have the box. So you do not have the box. We have one box here. And so it'll be, it'll be similar to this one here. We're just uh, making it singular and changing that N sound to a G sound. So it'd be gone. Gadayazin e mkuk. Gone gadayazin e mkuk. And our third person singular. There's no there's no singular pronoun prefix. So it's just gone. Verb, zine, and then an N sound. So the woman did not open the box. So we have a tense marker here did makes it pass it's in purple there so we'd be gone gi jay aqua jay aqua zine and then the box m cook gone oh sorry gone que gi jay aqua zine m cook next one the woman did not have the boxes so again we're just changing out our verb here and pluralizing it with Un and nimkakun. So gone queg gia gia zin un imkakun nimkakun. Gone que gian zin un yan zin un nimkakun. This would probably be a pretty good uh, slide to uh, take a screenshot of for your notes. Next, we're moving on to the the plural versions. So with the uh, plural pronoun suffixes here. So again, first person exclusive, gone, in, or indo, verb, and then z, nin. So no plural suffix over here. Just the negative suffix and then the plural pronoun suffix. So we are not opening the box. So this is green to show that yellow and red have combined to form this pronoun. So, gan njea kwa zimin im kuk. Gan njea kwa zimin im kuk. So we can see how that all color codes and matches. Next one, we do not have the boxes. So, again, we're going to translate this. So we have, we start negative, gan then start off with our singular pronoun prefix n and then the verb so we got a, a secret a sound there so we need n dion and then z min nim kakun gone in dion z min nim kakun there we go so moving on two to one person changing that n sound to a g sound in front so we all are not opening the boxes. So again, gan gajaya quasi min nim kakan. So again, no plural suffix. Gan gajaya quasi min nim kakan. Moving on to the next one here, we got we all do not have the box. So we're placing this section here with just the N sound is replaced with a G. And then singular version right here. So imkuk. So it should say gan gadaya zimin imkuk. Gan gadaya zimin imkuk. All right. Moving on to second person plural here. Second person plural is the you all. And so we got gan, get, or gado in front, verb, and then z, nawa. And then we have our inanimate object plural suffix here which is an n sound so you all are not opening the box so instead of using a min at the end here we can replace it with an awa and then 
uh, M. Cook. So, Gan Gajayakwazi Nawa M. Cook. Gan Gajayakwazi Nawa M. Cook. Moving on to the next one. You all do not have the boxes. So, again, we can almost copy and paste this sentence here, but we're pluralizing nim kakun. So, uh, and then we're adding an n sound at the end here, replacing the min with awa, and then adding an n sound. So, gan gadayan zina wan nim kakun. Gan gadayan zina wan nim kakun. And our third person plural for this one, there's no prefix. So it's just verb and then zinawa or zinawan. So our sentence here, the women did not open the boxes. So we got our past tense here, yi. So should say gan kwewek gi jeakwa zinawan nim kakan. For the women did not open the boxes. Gan kwewek gi jeakwa zinawan nim kakan. And the last one on this slide here, the women did not have the box. So again, gan kwewek gi yan zina wa im kuk. Gan kwewek gi yan zina wa nim kuk. Uh, it should say im kuk, not ni. My bad. But you can see the patterns here. And again, I would recommend taking a screenshot of this slide here so that uh, so you can have it for your notes. So moving on to our VTI 2s and 3s, they have the same pattern. They either get rid of that N sound or that I N sound. So same color coding as before. So first person singular. Still an N or an DO in front, and then SEEN, and then an UN sound. So I am not throwing the box. So that would be GONE, PUG, DO, because we're getting rid of that N sound, PUG, DO, SEEN, IM, CUCK. GONE, and PUG, DO, SEEN, IM, CUCK. GONE, and PUG, DO, SEEN, IM, CUCK. It's very formulaic. As long as you pa follow these formulas, you're, you're 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 golden. I am not stealing the boxes. So mode in means steal. So gone in mode in mode seen im or nim kakan. Gone in mode seen nun nim kakan. Gone in mode seen nun nim kakan. I am not stealing those boxes, or I'm not stealing the boxes. Next, we're just replacing our N sounds with G sounds here. So you are not throwing the boxes. Gan gpug do si nun nim kakan. Because we're pluralized here. Gan gpug do si nun nim kakan. Next one, you are not stealing the box. So again, pretty much a singular version of this one, but replacing that N with a G. So gan gmod si im kak. Gan gamod sin im kak. Third person singular. So no prefix, just gan verb sin or sinan. And then a tense marker if needed. So the women did not throw the box, or the woman did not throw the box. So gan kwe pug or gi pug do sin im kak. Gan kwe gi pug do sin im kak. You can see how it's all color coded there. The women did not steal the boxes, or the woman did not steal the boxes. So again, past tense here with did, and then so we got gone kwe gi gi mod si nan nim kak gun. Gone kwe gi mod si nan nim kak gun. Again, this would make a great screenshot for your notes. So you can see how it's all color coded and see where everything fits in your sentences or your verb phrases. 
All right, moving on to the plural version of those now. So part two here. So first person plural. So gone, n, or do, vti, and then c, and then a min sound at the end. So remember, negative suffix goes right after the verb. We are not throwing in the box. So it will be gone in pug do si min. Am cuck. So gone in pug do. Get rid of that n. Si min am cuck. Gone in pug do si min am cuck. We are not stealing the boxes. Gone in mode si min nim cuck gun. Because again, we don't have a plural uh, suffix here. So gone in mode si min nim cuck gun. Two to one person, we exclusive are we inclusive? So we're just replacing the N sounds with G sounds in front. Same patterns. So we all are not throwing the boxes. So gone gepug do si min nim cuck gun. Gone gepug do si min nim cuck un. We all are not stealing the box. So again, just replace that N with a G sound and singularize nit to an i and cuck on to um cuck. So gone gamod si min im cuck. Gone gamod si min im cuck. And the second person plural, the you all. So replacing that min there with an awa or an awan, depending on plurality. So you all aren't throwing the box. So gone gepug do si na wa im kuk. Gong pug do si na wa im kuk. You all aren't throw or aren't stealing the boxes. So gong gamod si na wan nim kuk gun. Gong gamod si na wan nim kuk gun. And the last one here, third person plural, the they or them. Gone, verb, si, na, wa, or na, wan. So the women did not throw the boxes. So it'd be gone, pug, or gone, gi, pug, do, si, na, wan, nim, kuk, gun. Gone, kwewa, gi, pug, do, si, na, wan, nim, kuk, gun. And the last sentence here, the women did not steal the box. So, gone, kwe, wak, gi, mod, si, na, wa, i, m, kuk. Gone, kwe, wak, gi, mod, si, na, wa, and it should say, i, m, kuk. So again, another screenshot moment for you guys, for your notes. All right, so in summary, just like our VAI words, negative VTA form uh, phrases begin with a negative word and use a negative suffix right after the verb, but before the plural pronoun suffix. A form negative phrases need a word like Gawain as the first word and the appropriate negative suffix, either C or Z. VTI words are VTI one and VTI four words use the negative suffix zine or z. And VTI two and VTI three words use the negative suffix seen or c. After the negative suffix, VTI inflections use the positive a form plural pronoun suffixes and inanimate object plural suffix. Thank you all for listening to me. That's it for now. So that's our whole lesson today. Now we're going to move on to our worksheet so you guys know what's expected of you guys there. All right. So multiple choice. Oh, I got to I got to edit this down here. So it's just multiple choice here. Select uh, the translation that matches the Ojibwe. 
Oh, geez, I gotta, yeah, I gotta edit this. So it should say Jia Quen. That should be a W. So Jia Quen. Undead Ming Jia Quen. Let's look it up. Jia Quen means open it or open something. So that's this one here. Alright, so you just select that and then that's it. Alright. So I'll leave the rest for you guys to do on your own. Alright, moving on. Alright, number two here. Select and fill in the correct singular pronoun prefix to match the English translations below the Ojibwe. So we have this one here, gonna wab dana ne. So it means looking at them. So we want it to be I am looking at them. So which prefix would go with I am? Giz are use, nothings are third person. So we have in da or in do. So in da, we know this one has a, has a secret A sound, which is right here. So in do would be our option here. So it's an extended pronoun there in because of that cluster of consonants right there. Get and then end sound. So in do no wab dana ne. I am looking at them. All right. So cross that out. I'll leave the rest of these for you guys to do on your own. All right. So number three, you fill out the chart with pronoun information. So we have Anishinaabemwin, Shogunashimwin, the English, and then linguistic symbol. So in here, I want you to fill in the Ojibwe pronouns that we know. Nin, that's first person. That means me or I. And it's a linguistic symbol is first person singular. One PS. All right, so consult your notes if you can't remember these to fill this out. Number four, select and fill in the correct plural pronoun suffixes to match the English translations. So we have these suffixes here, awan, amnun. Oh, we should get rid of that one. Uh, min, should get rid of that one. Min, awa, awa. So this one here is we have a spear. So it'll be Bajibwe gun. Oh, Jesus. I should train. <laughs> I gotta change that verb to a yawn. So we have a spear. So Bajibwe gun. Indaya. Indayan. Or Indaya min. All right. So uh, I wanna go back and take a look at this to make sure it all jives well. And then I would put in the right answer for you guys. So what you, what I hand out to you guys might be a little different because of this. So, um, yeah, I would put in the right suffix here. Okay. So for our negative sentences, how do we start negative and end negative? So in our lesson, we explain that. Let's see here. So starting negative means always beginning our sentences with some variation of the word no no jibwe, gawain, kawain, ga ka, etc. Ending negative means ending our verb with the appropriate negative suffix. Those are C or zine. Alright, so that's what you would write here. Match the negative suffixes to complete the sentences. So VTI types. So we got VTI3. Which one does which negative suffix does VTI threes use? Zine, Z, C, or Scene, or Scene, or C. Again, you can always look at our notes. VTI 2s and 3s, Scene, and C. So put in to be here. Cross that out for later so you don't overuse it. All right. Next, I'll leave the rest of these for you guys to fill out. Number seven, Akanota ne Nishna Bemyan. Jeez, I must have been so out of it when I when I made this. So this should say Jagna Shimyan. 
because this is all in Ojibwe already. All right. So let's translate these into English. These are Nashimwen. So we got Gan in Dokshke Wab Dazin Im Zina Teschigan. So this is a negative sentence. We got got gone, and then we got our negative suffix seen here. Ndo, that's an I am sentence. So I am not because it's negative, and we have a g the prefix in here g s h k i. So if you don't know what that means, we can always type it in the dictionary. So it's a preverb, and it means able to. So I am not able to wab the zine. So we know we're not going to find our verbs with zine in it. And we know the Z sound is for VTI ones and fours. VTI ones have their short A sound. So this is a VTI one. So we're looking for wab done. So we're going to type that in wab done. So we have a few options, but we're looking for just wop done right here. Wop done. So it means see something. So I'm not able to to see the and then Zina test again. If you don't remember what that is, just look it up. So I'm Zina test again means TV. So gone in Dokshke Wab the Zin Im Zen Ateshigan means I am not able to see the TV. Your big freaking head's too much in the way. Alright. So that's how you translate that into English. I'll leave the rest of these uh to do on your own. Uh next here. That's one more thing. So answer these questions with negative responses, then translate your answers. So we have a question here. So we know this is the question. Gui uh, means you want to. Nij nun. Un is plural. So mijin is our verb here, and it means to eat. So our answer is got start negative ka, then we can put in our noun here. Ka de yab nin. And then we put don't I don't want to. So that would be our singular pronoun prefix n oops. Followed by our tense marker want to, we. Then our verb need it's a VTI 3 with that IN. So let's consult our notes for that one. So VTI 3s. So we get rid of the IN for scene. And because it's pluralized, we have to put in a C none. So gone. C none. So ka de ab ni nui ni c none. All right. So. Now we need to translate this. So we know we don't want to eat something. We just don't know what th this word means. So we know this is pluralized. Plural there. And I-I-N is a plural suffix that we're aware of. So we can just type in... Oh, jeez. Kadeyab. So let's look that up in the dictionary. Kadeyab. Nope. There we go. Kadeyab. Plural suffix I and so turn ups. So translation. I don't want to. That's the we. We I, I don't want to eat. And then kade abnin. Turn nips. Period. All right. So that's how you answer the question in Ojibwe and then you can translate your answers. So that's what's expected of you for the rest of this. And uh Misae Nongam. Uh that's it for today. 
So as always, I want to put the links to access the dictionary in the description uh, of this video, as well as links to access the uh, PDF and Microsoft Word versions of this worksheet. And then also too, I'm going to put in a link uh, for some um, sound files for you guys to transcribe and translate in Ojibwe based on today's lesson. And so, yeah, that'll lead to work on your listening skills and your research skills. Aho, miigwech.